<sighs> hey, what's up, everyone? I'm kind of pulled back a little bit from this one because uh, it's big. And I am just about done with it. As you can see, I'm still putting some tape on here and there just to uh, get some uh, of the pinstriping, all the white details done. Top and bottom have been done. I think I posted some pictures on my on our Instagram page. Uh, but if not, I will soon. But uh, this is the Radiant. This is what shows up in the first three minutes of The Phantom Menace. But uh, it's a really big kit. It's a really cool kit. I'm glad that somebody made this, thanks to Randy Cooper. Um, and uh, it, it probably would never have been made by AMT Ertl or Bandai. I mean, anyone who's got the license right now, but... Uh, it's a cool and it's a unique piece that's going to sit in Charles's collection now. Uh, he'll be back, I think he's going to be back on the 12th of August to come by and pick this baby up. And he was out here Monday and uh, he bought me some goodies. He also bought me another model to work on for him. And he bought me enough stuff that was cool enough that uh, I think I'm going to kind of just do the, the this kit for him. Uh, no lights, no nothing. Uh, but for those of you who know, ooh, who, for those of you who know what this is, this is uh, the destroyed Enterprise saucer section from Star Trek Three: The Search for Spock. And it's, excuse me, it's a resin piece. It's uh, pretty, it's solid, and it's made to go uh, with the AMT. I think it's actually made off a of mold of the AMT uh, saucer section, but let me get a zoom in. There's a lot of detail in there that is really cool. Uh, there's a, let me see, you can actually see the bridge there. Uh, what's left of it, there's a, I think that's a turbo, turbo lift that's supposed to be right there in that shaft. But uh, yeah, you see decks, some wall detail here and there. I'm going to paint all that and then make it all look blown up. But um, this is just going to be mounted on one, on a base. And, oh, wow, he even made phasers there. Uh, this is just going to be on, uh, mounted on a base and it's probably going to be tilted forward like it's listing. Uh, but, yeah, so Charles brought that for me. We're going to work on this for him and uh, hopefully just make it really cool. But, um uh, Charles bought a whole bunch of uh, different resin kits, and uh, I guess they're for me to have, so uh, we'll get some of those turned around. I think uh, the, one of them is the Hammerhead from uh, Space Above and Beyond, which was a really cool show from the 90s, uh, and um, a few other things, but... Anyway, I'm going to wrap this up. I'm not going to pick that up right now because it's a little heavy and it's I'm not going to drop it uh, this close to uh, completion. So uh, look for it on our Instagram page. I'll have a, I'll have some finished photos of that coming pretty soon uh, along with the flying sub. And I'm also going to follow this video up hopefully with a quick update on the Reliant. But you guys have fun. Take care and uh, we will see you again.